everyone, it's Rebecca from The Glitch Stitchery. I'm here today to do my unopening for my Paradise Fibers from both January and February so I can get caught back up. Um, so I'm just going to do an opening, we're going to talk about what's inside, and then the spinning video will be a separate video later in the month. So, we're going to start with January. I don't remember anything about the spoilers for either of these packages because I was really busy. And I'm sure I read them, but I don't remember anything. So gonna cut this open and we will see what we got. It's a really pretty bag, I will say that. So, pull the papers out. Paradise Fibers, January 2022, Glitz and Glam. Featuring our rhinestone inspired glitter blend and humbug merino. So, um, ooh, this looks really pretty. So I'm gonna start pulling this out and we're gonna take a look. So we've got a silver bag and a sparkly bag, and then of course the um, little bits. So, is there anything else in there? No, of course not. So according to this, we've got 70% natural undyed white merino top with 30% ultra sparkly silver Stellina. So that's going to be like crazy sparkly. And then we've got Humbug Merino, which is a white gray merino top. So it has different shades held together. Um, you know, they're not like, you'll see, it's like stripes instead of blended, like a tweed or anything like that. Um, and then we've got, of course, a sticker, bag of tea, a stitch marker, and some fiber wash sampler packets. All right, so this, I haven't even opened this yet but, yet, but I'm already super excited for this. All right, so this one's the super sparkly one, and I'm going to have to keep this contained when not being worked with, because this stuff is going to shed like crazy, and there will be glitter everywhere. So, glitter. I don't know how well you can see it, but it is insanely sparkly, like disco ball sparkly. It's also quite soft. Let me just put that up there for right now. And then we have the Humbug Merino, which is in this really cute polka dot sparkle bag. And that's going to be soft as well, of course. So you can see how there's the different shades just held to kind of run together through the roving. So that, I can't wait to reuse these bags. This is great. <laughs> I love that. Let me get this. So the sticker is crazy sparkly. And I think you can probably hear some stomping in the background. That's my neighbors upstairs. So I'm still getting used to when they're home versus when they're not home. So I can shoot my videos without too much background noise. But hopefully it's not too distracting. I mean, I can hear it. I don't know how much the camera is going to pick up. Anyway, a little distracting. <laughs> so yeah, super sparkly. I like that. It, if, it's hard to see on camera, but it, it looks kind of like a bunch of printed pictures of rhinestones. So we have that. And we have a rhinestone stitch marker. Very sparkly. And my favorite st stash tea, Breakfast in Paris. This is legitimately my favorite. I love this one. Um, it has black tea, lavender, bergamot, and vanilla, which is just like, love it. <laughs> Buy that one quite often. And then we have two scents of soak. So we have scentless and celebration. So these are for um, washing your finished objects, I believe. Yeah, I haven't actually tried this brand. I usually use Unicorn. Um, but I should try these at some point. I have another one somewhere that's, I think, pineapple scented. And I just kind of tucked it away for when I eventually get around to using it. <laughs> but I should try it out. So that is the January package. And I'm going to open up the February one now. So this one just arrived. It arrived like the day after I moved, I think. So I picked it up yesterday. So it has ice cream all over it. Open too. 
They're really hitting it out of the park with the themed bags. They're just really pretty. All right, so February 2022 is Candyland. So the newest Merino brand, blend, uh, newest Merino blends. I'm not even gonna bother editing that out. It's too much effort. Bubblegum Surprise and Twirl. Mm. Okay, those are gonna be really pretty. So it's gonna be four ounces each of two Merino blends. And then a Notions bag, of course, with a sticker, tea, stitch marker, flashcards, a gel pen, and what are those? Is that just a... Oh, okay, that's just what the bag is printed out. You'll, I'll show you. Okay. <laughs> It confused me for a second. All right, so this one is twirl. And this one's like super pastel. Um, it reminds me of My Little Pony. A very specific My Little Pony, actually. So if you know which one I'm talking about, leave a comment below, because I'm curious to see if anyone else thinks of it the moment they see it. I don't know if you can see the colors, but it's like, Pastel purple, blue, and pink, all blended together, carried along together. So that'll make something very lovely, although I'm not normally a pastel person. Those of you who know me know that very well. So I will set that. Why did I put it back in the bag? I'll set that with the other stuff. And then we have what is this one? Bubblegum Surprise, which is more to my taste, I think. I like both. It's just this one is very me. <laughs> I think it actually matches the shirt I'm wearing. So. Yeah, see, because the pink is like the pink. And then the teal is like the... It's very close, actually. So, yeah, I love this. And it's soft and bright and fun and... Love it. So I'm gonna have to decide what to do with all of these fibers, but that'll be a separate video because I need some time to think about it and to finish getting the room set up so I actually can use my spinning wheels. But soon, you'll get it soon. So the reason I was confused is because the bag is printed with candy and the way the picture was shot, I was like, is there a bag of candy? Why do I have a bag of candy? I'm very tired. <laughs> it's alright though, there is not a bag of candy, thankfully. There's no, I don't need that. So, I think this is actually my favorite Eunice sticker because she's like queen of Candyland. She actually even artistically looks like... I remember this game so much and we played it a lot. She looks quite a bit like this, um, or at least on the version I had. So that's super fun. I love this. And then we have, let's see if I can reach, chocolate mint tea, which is oolong, I love oolong, peppermint, natural chocolate flavor, cocoa powder, and carob powder. This sounds awesome. I might make this tonight. I've been having a cup of tea before bed every night, so I'll just sit there with my journal and a cup of tea and catch up with the day. Um, so yeah, that, I might have that one tonight. I don't know. I, I change it every day. So I have a lot to choose from. So let's see what's left in here. Just dump it in my lap so I can... So we've got these like flashcards with a ring. So it's suggested in the paper to like write down your samples for when you're... Um, like when you're sampling different fibers, you can write down your results so you can keep track. Or you could use them for other things. I know personally I use this size when I'm doing things like crocheting socks. And I'll write down the pattern for the different parts of the sock. So like toe, foot, heel, and ankle. And then I'll just like flip to the specific part I need as I go through the pair of socks. But you can use these for all sorts of things when you're sampling different breeds, for example, or learning new stitches, stuff like that. So that's useful. And a candy scented gel pen. 
I'll play with this later. And then we have a sweet tart. Not a real one. <laughs> Just a stitch marker. It'd be fun if it was a real one, but I probably have a bag of those in the kitchen somewhere because one of my relatives tends to buy a lot of leftover candy after the holidays and then she distributes it and then I end up with random candy. <laughs> I mean, it helps that because of my soy allergy, I, can't, I don't want to say helps. There's nothing helpful about having an allergy, but I can't have a lot of it, so it keeps me from eating it. But um, I can have sweet tarts. Yeah. All right. So that is both January and February. And I don't know, I might end up working them together a little bit, or I might not. I don't know yet. I do really like the glitziness of January. That should be really fun to work with and it'll make just like a high glitter yarn. Very, very sparkly. On the other hand, I love this. Like this is amazing. I want more. So I'll have to decide what to make with this that is appropriately special and for me. So thank you so much for watching. I will get my wheels set up so I can film the spinning video for these soon. But in the meantime, I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you again soon.